guys, what's up? It's me, your girl, Alisa from stylishcurts.com, and today I'm back with a new video. So I hope everyone has had a wonderful new year. Um, I had an amazing new year, and I'm ready to get things started. Started. Let's get this party started for 2017. Um, so in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you my favorite must-have beauty products of 2016 that I will be taking into 2017 with me. If you guys haven't checked out already, I did a New Year's Eve, uh, I did two New Year's Eve makeup tutorials and you guys really liked it. If you haven't checked it out, even though New Year's is over, just go ahead and check it out. You know, it's still a makeup look you may want to try. But anyway, um, a few of you on my videos have on those videos had requested for me to do a best of beauty for 2016 so I thought that today would be a great day to do that and just share with you guys my favorite absolute must-have can't live without holy grail products that I use in 2016 because these products that I use will also be used in 2017 I just love these products and they were definitely worth the money spent on them I have a very good variety of beauty products ranging from high end to low end so if you're ready to see my personal best of beauty for 2016 then you guys know what to do keep on watching let's jump right in so the video is not long but I do have quite a few products so I'm gonna try to categorize and organize it and you know start off with face products and then end off with lip products so the first face products that I want to show you are some primers so I have two primers that I absolutely adore and love um, the first face primer I'm gonna show you is the makeup forever step one skin equalizer and this primer is just a uh, mattifying primer. I love this primer because it, as an oily person, it definitely helps to control my oil. Um, I don't use it all over my face. I use this primer within my T-zone. So I always do it on my forehead because when I don't have a bang, my forehead is always glistening. My forehead turns into a mirror. <laughs> it's like your forehead is so shiny, I can actually reapply my lipstick looking at it. No, I'm not even lying. But anyway, so I like this step one uh, primer for mattifying because it definitely gets away, gets rid of the shine on my forehead, on my nose, and definitely like right here on my cheeks, I get a little shiny and then on my chin. So I use that primer there. And then they um, also have another primer that I love, which is a smoothing primer, which you guys actually saw me use in one of my New Year's Eve makeup tutorials. Um, and I normally just put that primer like on the outer parts of my face just so I could get a nice smooth surface before I apply my foundation. The second primer I'm going to talk about is uh, from Guerlain. I don't ever remember if it's Girl Lane or Girl Lawn. I feel like it's Girl Lawn. <laughs> so I actually am a big fan of Girl Lawn products. I have quite a few, but one of the primers I do love, which I have not used on the channel, but I definitely, as you can see, I do use this um, for, so this is like my special occasion primer. So this primer has little uh, gold, I want to say reflectors, but let's just say gold chips <laughs> uh, on the inside. And it just gives my skin a very nice, dewy, kind of glowy look. Um, it is an expensive primer. It's like 74 bucks. Um, if you can, I don't know how you would get a coupon or something, but if you can catch it on a deal or something, definitely get it. But this is uh, one of my favorite primers to use especially on special occasions like if I'm gonna be going to a special event this is the primer that I reach for and like I said it gives a nice dewy look so moving on from primers we're gonna go on to foundations which I have quite a few of I think 2016 was the year I became a slight foundation junkie um i really love trying out different foundations and so i'm gonna first show you my absolute favorite foundation i think of 2016 for me and you guys have seen me use it in quite a few of my videos and that is laura mercier silk cream oil free photo edition <laughs> that is a mouthful photo edition foundation and this is in the shade truffle 
I'm literally on E on this foundation. It is definitely time to re-up on it. And I like this found I love, not even like, I love this foundation because it gives my skin a glow. And I think some of you have even commented on that uh, when I used it in my um, uh, my first New Year's Eve tutorial with the, the gold eyeshadow. You guys were like, oh my gosh, <laughs> where did you get this foundation from? So um, again, it gives a nice dewy golden look. Like it, it, it just somehow kind of like highlights my skin. You know, like some foundations, especially if they're matte or oil free, sometimes they can kind of dull you out a little bit. This does not dull me out and the color truffle is a spot on for my skin tone and that was one of the reasons why I actually bought it. Um, it's very creamy, a little bit definitely goes a long way. It's a full coverage foundation and it is heavy. So like I said, a little bit goes a long way. So I like to use either a beauty blender or a buffer brush um, just to help you know buff it out so I don't look like I have cake face. But this just gives my complexion just a nice glow. The next foundation I'm going to talk about is from Lancome. So you guys know I love Tint Idol. I used that from like 2015 um, through 2016. But right now, not right now, this year, well last year now, well 2016, the uh, foundation that I love the most and I kept saying, um, not love the most, the second foundation that I liked the most was... Um, Lancome's Tint Idol Ultra Wear. This is their uh, foundation stick. And I kept saying I need to do a video on this. Like I need to share with you guys how dope this foundation really is. So what happened is, is I received this as a PR gift. I want to say towards the beginning of 2016. And um, the shades they sent me were unfortunately too light, but I had liked the consistency and the formula of the stick foundation. So I went out and I got my shade, which is a uh, 550 suede C and the proof is in the pudding. I'm like down to a nub. I can't even twist it up anymore, this foundation. I'm down to a nub on this. This stick foundation, if you guys want a tutorial and want to see how it works, definitely leave a comment below. But this foundation stick is the bomb diggy. Like this is something I would wear uh, like on an everyday basis, like going to work, I would wear this, um, even on the weekends because it's so lightweight. It's literally like your skin. I'm going to swatch it so you can see, and then it just blends out so beautifully. It blends out beautifully. Like it just melts right into your skin. So my next favorite foundation that just blew me away in 2016 is from NYX. So NYX came out with a stay matte but not flat so i understand that this was not a new foundation for 2016 but i discovered it <laughs> in 2016 and i was so impressed with the quality of this ten dollar foundation that i bought it in two shades so i picked up the shade uh coco and i also picked up they have a deeper shade than this which made me super excited that they even had a deeper shade than this and what i love about this foundation is how creamy it is it says that it's a matte foundation but i don't feel like it makes me look matte i feel like it gives me more of a satin kind of dewy finish a little bit so i love just how creamy this is i'm gonna show you the color the color is super rich and it look at that it's so rich it's a little uh it has a little red in there but like once you highlight and do all your powders and stuff this just gives me a nice tone and i don't know if you guys remember i actually used this foundation in my fourth of july uh makeup tutorial um look at this look how nice it blends out look at the glow it gives this foundation i could not believe was ten dollars and i couldn't believe that it was from NYX. NYX has great products. I don't mean it like that, but I was just so blown away that that foundation was of good quality. All right, so now we're done with foundations. We did primers. So now I'm gonna move on to eyeshadow palettes. This year, like so many eyeshadow palettes came out, but I'm only gonna talk about two um, because I felt like these two palettes really just kind of 
change the game a little bit dare i say <laughs> so the first palette i'm going to show you is the juvia's place this is their nubian 2 palette juvia's place came in the game and showed a lot of these makeup brands how it is done honey how it's done <laughs> and people went crazy over their eyeshadows like people were just like the pigmentation and so i definitely went bought into the hype and went and ordered one for myself and i was so pleased with this found um foundation with these eyeshadows um i've also used this in my um makeup tutorial for black owned uh beauty companies so if you haven't checked that out look at that as well but the pigmentation on all of these and then what i felt like set juvia's place apart was the artwork that they uh put on their palettes which is um this is a picture of nefertiti they did just such beautiful packaging on this and again the colors were just amazing like this blue color here is my favorite like do you see that oh look at that like look at that pigmentation i'm telling you like juvia's place came in and said look let me show y'all how to do this son I'm a, in the words of jay-z i'm gonna show y'all how to do this son <laughs> the next palette that i was completely in love with was the anastasia anastasia's modern renaissance palette this was just it was worth the hype it this palette just was a beautiful fall palette like I mean beautiful is just the best word I can describe it it just fit the fall season so perfectly you got all of these warm rich colors and then you got your pop of colors and this palette was just awesome um, this pink shade was one of my favorite colors and like also that had pretty good pigmentation as well um, so definitely this was one of my favorite i got it upside down <laughs> so definitely this was uh probably hands down like my number two favorite palette of 2016 and i would definitely be using this like these colors you could use fall or summer you know what i mean like you ever have palettes that seem like they're just geared to one season but this palette you can use fall winter spring summer whenever so kudos to anastasia and again the packaging was also pretty although the velvet got, got dirty but it still was a nice package all right so now let's move on to contour powders so for contouring i have only been using one contour powder since i picked it up and that is the makeup by shayla contour palette with tart so makeup by shayla came out in 2016 as many of you may know she came out with a palette which was geared towards darker skin tones and when i say this palette is the bomb like the bomb if you have not tried it i really honestly suggest um and here's why i like this palette this palette um i really love it for this contour shade right here it looks like it's not dark enough but it is definitely dark enough to contour what i like is that she has two different colors she has a light contour color and then she has a deeper contour color which like i said i use the deeper one um this is just honestly one of my favorite contours i use this all the time this palette comes with me mainly <laughs> because of this contour color another contour uh palette that I have been using is Black Radiance's True Complexion Contour Palette. If you guys have not tried this, I honestly suggest any woman of color to definitely go and try this out if you can find it in your local drugstore. Um, this is definitely for the person who does not really like that harsh, deep contour. If you like more of a natural contour, this palette right here is really good um i honestly have never used this middle color <laughs> um but i've definitely used the highlight which is pretty nice i'll show that to you and i just swatched it right here so if you're not into like that big like oh let me glow and look like a nice princess you will definitely like this highlight and this contour it definitely gives you a nice subtle contour so this palette right here black radiance also has amazing products but we'll talk about that in another video but this palette right here was the bomb in 2016 so i want to show you another black radiance powder that i love this is their pressed powder and this pressed powder gives you like a matte finish and as you can see i am 
I'm, I'm using it up. This is actually, I think, this is my second or third one of these. This is the Rich Mahogany shade. And I do have another shade, which is Ebony, that I also use as a contour. But this right here is a very nice setting powder. Um, it sets my makeup well. And I can honestly say, I would compare this product to a lot of... Um, kind of like high-end products is um, high-end powders this powder right here is just nice and rich it uh, definitely sets my makeup all day I've worn this on top of my high-end foundations and it has never been a problem the next uh, setting powder I'm gonna talk about is uh, from Lancome and this is their dual finish setting powder this is in the shade 550 suede C and as you can see I've hit pan on this um, this probably is, I would consider this more of my holy grail. I definitely make sure I use when I'm going out at night or if I know I'm going to be out for a long period of time. I love this powder. It's super soft, not soft, but it's, it gives me a very nice matte finish. Um, it also lasts a very long time. I've worn this powder for over eight hours before and never had a problem. Um, it, it's just a fantastic pressed powder oh and you can also I've also myself have you have used this as foundation so I've used this powder like let's say if I just need to like go to the post office or to the grocery store instead of putting foundation on I have definitely uh, just use this powder and it gives really nice coverage alone as a foundation so this powder is a dual um, powder you can use it as press or you can use it as a foundation so now I want to mention a bronzer. I don't really use a lot of bronzers uh, because there aren't really a lot out there, <laughs> you know, for deeper skin tones. But I cannot do this video without mentioning my Girl On Terracotta Ebony Bronzer. Um, I never thought I could use a, wear a bronzer before, but this bronzer, it has like a little sheen, a little um, shimmer in it. And it just honestly nicely warms up my skin, especially after I just highlighted, after I just used the highlighting powders and all of that. And I want to bring some warmth back into my face, like around the perimeters. This is my go-to powder. You've seen me use this quite a few times in a tutorial. But if you have not tried this, I recommend that you try these Girl On bronzers the ebony shade is what i use it is the darkest shade i do wish that they add one more darker shade but this definitely shows up on my skin and it just gives it a nice warm glow all right so now we're going to move on to uh highlighters i'm only going to show you two highlighters one of my absolute favorite highlighters is uh bobby brown's bronze glow i picked this up at the beginning of 2016 and it's loose so i'm trying not to have it fall out but if you could see it right here this highlighter is just so beautiful um i have it on my cheeks today and you can definitely build on it so you can make it as intense as you want or you can just brush uh take your brush and swipe it through lightly and just get a nice little light highlight but this i'm gonna show you look at that look at that just a beautiful highlight and I cannot also do this video without mentioning um, cover FX liquid highlighters uh, the shade candlelight for me I mean that this glow right here is serious but what I like to do with this is I like to mix it in my foundations which I'm gonna actually do a video on and show you how I use this in my foundations um, I actually like to mix just like a little drop of this. This is an intense highlight. Like this is rich, thick, intense highlight. And I like to just mix it um, in my foundation just to give me a nice overall glow. I won't highlight or do any of that stuff. I just mix it and um, set my face and just put on like eyeliner and mascara and I'm like a bronze goddess. <laughs> uh, I'll show you, I actually have a video on, on this if you guys wanna check it out, I'll leave a link somewhere for you guys. I have a video um, doing a, a mini review on all of the shades of this. So I also wanna mention my favorite concealer, like the only concealer that I have used up until 
probably like October and November. But all of 2016, the only concealer I was messing with was this Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Concealer. Not the new one she has out, but the older one she has. Oh my goodness. This is like, this is tube number three for me. Tube number three and I'm done. <laughs> I'm almost done with this. But I just really like the creaminess of this concealer. Um, I have it on under my eyes today. I like the creaminess of this concealer and it definitely hides, um, you know, any of my, it hides my dark circles. It just gives really nice coverage. And what it, what I really love about this concealer is that it blends out beautifully. Like the blend is so easy. You don't have to be here, be there all day blending this out. This blends out so easily. And mine is in the shade Deep 38. And it just gives me just the, the best coverage. So um, I am liking the two new ones I got. But 2016, this was my, my main man right here. So I also want to mention one of my favorite blushes uh, that I use frequently. And it is Marc Jacobs Blush in Tantalizing. This is shade 218. This is a holy grail blush for me. Um, it's just, it gives the most beautiful berry color. Uh, I'll swatch it for you. Look at that. Look at how rich that color looks. And it's so nice and easy to blend out. Um, this is definitely a blush that I use all the time. All the time. Most of the time I'm reaching for this on a daily basis. All right, so we're almost done. So now I'm on to lippies. So some of my favorite lippies are from Milani. Um, Milani just has amazing colors. They're so rich. They're so pigmented. And I want to mention two. I want to mention um, a matte lip cream, which is this one. And this is in the shade Magnetic. I've worn this in a, a, my last was it my last video I wore this in my first New Year's Eve tutorial and also in other videos I just want to show you guys how beautiful this color is like let me blend it out for you it is just a very nice deep uh, berry color and it has like a metallic finish to it that's why I love these lip creams from Milani because they just have the most amazing pigmentation to be a drugstore lip brand all right, the next favorite I want to mention um, for Milani as a lip color is one of their lip glosses. And this is in the shade Florence. Florence is another berry color, but this has a little shimmer in it. And it is, again, just super pigmented. Like, do you see this? Every time I wear this and even the other one, Magnetic, I get compliments all the time. Every shade of woman will stop me and be like, oh my gosh, like what are you wearing on your lips? But this as a lip gloss, it just makes my lips look nice and juicy. It's such a beautiful color. And this is called Florence. And then last, certainly not least, is one of my favorite mascaras. It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara is the truth. If you have short, non-existent lashes, or even if you have long lashes, this mascara will lift, curl, and extend your lashes and make it look like you... If you put enough coats of this on, you will look like you're wearing falsies. But if you like just a natural, everyday kind of I have naturally long lashes look, this is the mascara you want to try. I've mentioned this in a couple of my videos. But yes, yeah, Superhero, It Cosmetics, you did your thing on this mascara, the bomb. Guys, that was my best of beauty for 2016. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see a tutorial or anything, or if I mentioned products that you love as well. Um, also, let me know some of your products that you love for 2016, because I do want to try out some new stuff. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember to thumbs it up. Um, share it if you want to. <laughs> um, I definitely have some fashion hauls coming because I know I get those questions a lot. I definitely have a fashion haul coming for you guys. Uh, if not this week, next week it'll be up. But thank you so much for watching. Remember to check out the blog, stylishcurse.com. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.